So here we are, uh, eight seasons in, and Julia and William have just tied the knot. Oh my God, I'm married! <laughs> After seven seasons, it was a, a long enough courtship. We thought to try and keep the show fresh, it would be interesting to see William and Julia embark the, uh, on the second chapter of their lives. Having to go eight seasons, really, and play that dynamic of, oh, I want them, and do they, and pull them apart. That in itself has been a journey. So to see this, it's a wedding that almost doesn't happen. I feel mostly very excited for the fans because we hear what they're saying. We hear what you're saying. <laughs> we just need it so badly. Give it to us. Give it to us. So we're giving it to you. Of course, there's bad guys, and we can't let a wedding interfere with catching the bad guys. Men and of angels, but Julia. Have not love. I am anointing God. Why was Wainwright wearing Thompson's ring the night the hotel clerk first saw him? He's trying to impersonate him, I suppose. The challenge in bringing them together was how to do it in such a way that it, we didn't over-romanticize it and see the true romance that lies between them and what really bonds them, which of course is their love of solving crime. And that trumps their desire to get married in the traditional way. Sir, we have no time to waste. They're getting away. I don't bloody care. You're not leaving until you're officially married. Sir, I said... Get married. It's been a long time coming. I think Dr. Grace is really excited and relieved for them both that they finally get to be together because she's seen them go through a lot and been stopped. I think that um, we'll be able to get more playful because we don't have the angst of will it, won't it, what's going to happen. Marriage changes everything. They'll be more relaxed. I think Bracken Reed's been wanting them to get married for quite a while. He understands how they feel about one another and uh, he's quite glad. And obviously it'll focus Murdoch and other matters like crime fighting. Uh, I think Henry Higgins is uh, is pretty glad that it's happening because I think there's been a bit of a pool around the boys at the office as to whether or not this was actually ever going to happen. I'm imagining he's raking in the dough right now. It's especially exciting today to be here actually in this gorgeous spot and it's a gorgeous day and it's a gorgeous wedding. We are in the Metropolitan United Church in downtown Toronto at Queen and Church. One of the things that we really, really wanted was an older period looking church with a center aisle. We wanted to get William and Julia married in a, a proper church, a proper church with some scope, some stature, and there's a, a great sort of practical location because there's large church grounds outside that we can actually film the reception afterwards. Aesthetically, it works for our show, obviously, and practically, it works for our show. I actually go through a whole process of looking at real period photographs of, of weddings. There's lots of ideas out there, but they have to work for the actress that you're actually dressing and, and for the character. Yeah. This is just the skirt, and then the train is going to be separate, so it'll be much longer. Oh, right. I do a whole uh, actual series of drawings, and then from that, I bought all the fabric, all the lace, and all the antique pieces that need to go onto it. But then there's the actual building of it to make it look like it's of the period so that it actually stands the way it needs to stand, the way it fits the body. I'd like the fans to know that they add bum. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my bum that that is this big. For some reason, <laughs> big bum's for the way to go. You start from the inside out so that you're building layers underneath to create the shape first and then you put your costume on top of all of that. So it's a, like a bit of working in reverse, really, to, to come up with the final look, to actually make the costume look the way it needs to for the period. We have a whole staff of sewers and cutters and builders, but we're also working on the episode as well, so it's not like we're working specifically just on the dress. But the actual wedding dress is being made out of a silk charmeuse, and it's being backed with a cotton and linen backing to make the actual skirt sit out properly at the bottom so it trains beautifully. Well, I think it's glorious. I mean, it's very Victorian, so it doesn't fulfill our modern expectations of a wedding dress at all, but it is very, very true to the time. It's very modest dress. The veil is like extraordinary. The veil comes all the way down to my knees at the front and another 15 feet behind me. All brides are beautiful. It's, it's mainly what's going on in their face and their emotions on the day and the people around them. The dresses look pretty good though. Here we are in beautiful downtown Cambridge. We love coming here. A lot of uh, historical features. 
people like having us here. We have this great sort of downtown area to shoot in. The architecture is Scottish. It goes back to uh, the Scottish settlers and the old city hall and all of the buildings in the downtown and core areas have that kind of uh, flavor to them. And what we have done, and unlike a lot of municipalities, is we've protected and we are reusing the buildings and we're incorporating them into the future of what we're doing. Cambridge is a very special city. It's three former communities that have been amalgamated together. It has three core areas, so you don't get a sense of big city, you get a sense of small town. And we have one of the most beautiful urban settings in Ontario with the Grand River and the Speed River, which connects the three former communities. To the newlywed couple, I would say, have a sense of humor, uh, because uh, that will get you through the uh, tough times. Try to keep things exciting and fresh in the bedroom. You can pick up a copy of Cosmo in any corner store. Communicate. Never, never like hold it in. Just always say what you're thinking or feeling because it handles it way quicker than building up any resentment. Margaret would probably say that the key to any relationship is patience and understanding of your husband. I'd make a toast to all the characters who are not here, like uh, Julia's sister, Murdoch's brother, Murdoch's dad. I think I would say Murdoch, watch out, because I think you've taken on quite a force in Julia, and Julia, you've got quite a, quite a catch. She's an amazing man.